マネージャーでもお届けしてくださいトミーありがとう<笑>ね Hi everybody how are you doing lovely to see you welcome to 2017 2017 ね2017 Did everyone have a lovely Christmas and New Year I hope so they even had a very nice Christmas lovely to see you Jan lovely to see you Lance Bast Cutter lovely to see you Joan hey Joan good to see you sweetheart everybody Emily Liz, Rafa, Laura, Laura, hey Laura, good to see you. I'll see you in Spain. Oh, good times. Good to see you, everybody. Lovely to see you all. Very nice to see you. Ah, Genki Times, man. Genki Times. We haven't done this for a while. Just a little bit of a good time. So, Laura, it's 4 a.m. in Spain. Thank you for watching. Well, you're not in Spain, you're in Romania. Thank you for watching, Laura. 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 At、uh, weird times during the day in Australia, it's lunchtime now. Australia doing my lunchtime, does he? Ah, so nah, me and us are just going to have some fun in the middle. Nah, ah, I'd love you to see you, everybody. So, how was everybody's Christmas? Is my first question, and how was everybody's New Year? Is my second question. Mine was lovely. I went home and I spent two weeks doing as little as I possibly could, which was fantastic. So I had Christmas with the family, which is very, very nice. And I had New Year's with my mates, which was very, very nice. And I spent a lot of time hanging out with my buddies, which is very, very nice. Oh, you're staying awake for me. Thank you. You're very, very sweet. Thank you. Sleepy. Yes, I can imagine you would be sleepy. Laura, good to see you, everybody. Hello, hello. Igor Brering, love to see you, Jan. Eloise, good to see you. Haven't been to home. Eloise, you haven't been to Australia for five years. You got to get back. It's awesome there. <laughs> I love Australia. My goodness. Good to see you. Good. We're from Peru. Ah, Peru, Jin. Good to see you. So good in there. Good to see you, everybody. Love you to see you all. So,、uh, how was everybody's Christmas? Everyone have a good Christmas. I hope so. Now, got a Christmas door there somewhere. We haven't because we haven't heard about Nokia's Christmas. Yeah. Yes. 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 Naoko worked on Christmas.、Uh, then she went to a girls only party on a Christmas night, Christmas day evening thing. Yeah, yeah. So,、uh, mm, good fun. We should、um, let you know that Christmas. Oh, sorry, I just moved the camera. We should let you know that Christmas in Japan is a totally different experience from Christmas in Australia. I'm not. Nihon no Christmas, don't know how to just go, Naoko. Nihon no Christmas wa grabazu. So, so Japanese Christmas is date night. So, you take your、uh, significant other and you go on a date. There's nothing. The Christian bit, no, 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 presents, no, no, no church. Presents, presents, are there? Presents, are there? Oh, you can give presents. Then more, I know, koi bi to ni dake. Um, family ni. Oh, I see. Um. Oh, okay, so you can you can give presents, but you're supposed to go on a date with your significant other. That's what Christmas is in Japan.、Yeah. Significantly different from Christmas elsewhere. Ah,、oh, also in Japan on Christmas they eat fried chicken. Now called chicken tabeta. Ah, I didn't eat it, but Kentucky fried chicken. So, so in Japan on Christmas, <laughs> leading up to Christmas, there are ads for fried chicken everywhere. All the convenience stores bring in special Christmas fried chicken. KFC, our、uh, Christmas is KFC's biggest day of the year here.、Um, what happens is Japanese people eat fried chicken on Christmas, and I think the story is. Back in like the 60s or 70s or something, there was a bunch of American expats living here, and it was Christmas, and they couldn't get turkey, so, so they so, were so. eating fried chicken because it was the closest thing they could find to turkey. And some Japanese entrepreneur said, "What are you doing?" And they explained Christmas and eating turkey at Christmas time. And this guy said, "Aha!" And he made a whole thing out of it. Here we are, 40 years later, and everyone's eating chicken on Christmas. Good stuff. So, like Valentine's Day, that's exactly right, Ashley. So, 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 so. Like Valentine's Day. So, Valentine's Day is a different system in Japan too. In on Valentine's Day in Japan, girls give boys chocolate, and that's that's the only thing that happens. No, it's not presents, it's not flowers, it's chocolate specifically. And girls give chocolate to boys. Then on March, why do they wear March? The first. Sangatsu, Sangatsu, Juyon, Nichi. Juyon. So then, exactly one month later, on the fourteenth of March, they have White Day, which is the day in which boys give chocolate to girls. Oh, it's candy. 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 Oh, chocolate, Jana. Chocolate, Jana. Oh, sorry, candy. I'm sorry, I was wrong. Candy of all types gets given to girls. <laughs> so that's、uh, the Japanese system. Um, uh, demo, koi bito no kanki arimasu ka Valentine's Day to White Day. Oh. もちろんあのガールフレンドがボーイフレンドにプレゼントあげる、うん、ボーイフレンドがガールフレンドにプレゼントバックする。でももうジスティファン的にの皆さんにも噛んでもあげるね。うん
もちろんあのお友達、友達とかボイあの普通の,あの、はい、コワーカーとかあのスクール。So, it was the Valentine's Day, obviously. It, you, normally, you would really only be expected to give a present to your significant other.、Mm. On Japanese Valentine's Day, if you're a girl giving candies to boys, you give them to all the boys you know. You give them to all your co workers, your, your classmates, you give them to everybody. And then on White Day, it's the same for the boys. The boys give girls, all girls. Oh, there's one rule. あの三倍、だからもし千円だったら三千のプレゼント、一万円だったら三倍のプレゼントバックしなければいけない。Hang on, sorry, so I'm just just clarifying this. 三倍、あのもらったもののプライスの三倍、トリプル、トリプルのプライスのものをあげなければならない。Wait, 男は三倍のプライスあげなければならない？そうそうそうそう。That's a terrible deal for the boys. That's an awful deal. Apparently, there's one rule. So, what the? Who made this rule? This, this is a terrible rule. <laughs> business, of course. It's, it's all business. It's all pure business.、Um, there's a rule in which if a, so if, so if Naoko's a girl on Valentine's Day, she gives me a thousand yen worth of stuff. On White Day, I need to give her triple value worth of stuff. So, I need to give her three thousand yen worth of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who made that rule? What the? <laughs> that's a terrible rule for the boys. My goodness.、Uh, let's see what everyone's comment. But I just noticed you shay eye.、Uh, that's correct. I trimmed my beard last night. My beard was very lengthy last night. Thank you for noticing, Laura. Beard was very lengthy last night. We had to have a trim because、um, it was a bit unruly. It was a little bit out of control. Yes,、yeah, a bit insane. That's so, 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 so. Nice rule. Yeah, nice rule for the girls. That's correct, <laughs> baby. Excellent rule for the girls. Good. Good. Jan says, I'm glad we've been celebrating it wrong. That's right, we have, we have been. Ashley believes it's the best rule ever. I think if you're a girl, it is the best rule ever. It's a fantastic rule. Excellent. Good stuff. Good to see you all today, guys. So, as always, you can put your chat comments in the chat box and then in the question and answer box. If you have specific questions, you can write your questions. So, in your.、Um, ah, good job, Nyalko. Good job. So, in your、um, uh, uh, thing with text on it at the right hand side of your screen, there's chat, which is what we're reading now, and there's question and answer, which I will click on. Hey, we have questions. So, I will address the people's questions since that's what we're here for. Number one、uh, from Joan. Lovely to see you, Joan. Thanks for tuning in, sweetheart. What am I most looking forward to in 2017? And what just happened? Oh, I see now the questions aren't up here. What am I most looking forward to in 2017? <sighs> I don't want to tell you because I don't want to ruin the surprise, but basically, the new work, the new work that we're going to bring you is going to be insane.、Um, we had a meeting about a bunch of the new work yesterday with,、uh, I, can't, I don't want to say anything, I don't want to ruin the surprise, with、um, other parties involved, and it's going to be insane. So、uh, I'm really excited, guys. It's going to be incredible. Thank you very much, Joe. Next question Jan, if I could eat or drink one thing right now, what would I like the most? Last night, I was dying for one of those.、Um, in Japan, we have like, Meiji, the chocolate company Meiji, makes these strawberry chocolate things. I know Meiji no drop no kanji no, I know pink to choco no aporo. I wanted a Meiji aporo. I was dying for one last night. I disciplined through and I didn't do it, but I was dying for one. That's what I'd like to eat now, too. Thank you, Jan. Excellent question. Jan, again,、uh, this is a good question. What do I enjoy the most?、Uh, What do I enjoy the most? The creative process behind writing the music, choreography, and dance, the actual singing, be it live or in the studio, or behind the scenes stuff like photo shoots, costuming, et cetera.、Um, I enjoy it all, but I think、um, I enjoy it all, but I think the most kind of instant gratification y part of the work is the live performance because you have the audience right there in front of you, so you get direct feedback from them.、Um, but of course, this counts as a live performance. It's whether I can't see Nalco's face, I can only see a big piece of paper. There Since we are broadcasting live, this counts as a live performance, so I'm very happy to be here with everybody.、Yeah. Lovely to see you all. Good stuff. Thank you. Excellent questions. You can write your questions in the chat box. All right. Well, it's already nine minutes past 11, and I haven't, well, I've just finished my introduction. We better get with it.、Oh, one more question.、Uh, am I planning to come to Colombia? コロンビア行くのプランありますか今は,今はオファーはないけど、行きたいね。行ってみたい、ね。We would, we would love to come to Colombia. I think オファーあったね。けどスケジュールはできなかった。そうだ、あったけどスケジュール。We had someone wanted to bring us to Colombia, but the schedule didn't work out last year sometime. But we would love to come to Colombia. We will do our best to get there. Thank you very much. Excellent question. All right. Oh, look, here questions. A bunch of questions. Do I,、uh, do I ever come to Kyushu? I've been to Kyushu twice. twice. I, 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 What are my New Year's resolutions?、Um, you know, I honestly haven't had time, time to make them properly because、so、here's the thing I went home 
And my plan was, I'm just gonna, just gonna sit. That's my plan. Just two weeks of sitting down. That was my plan. Um, but of course you get home and then, you know, you see everybody and you want to see your friends and stuff. So actually my planned sit, my two weeks of sit became, became largely hanging out with my buddies and going, Wah! which then forced me to sit the next day. So I didn't get around to writing my New Year's resolutions list, but I need to do it. It's very, very important. Thank you for your question. Thank you very, very much. Do I come to Kyushu? We've been to Kyushu a few times, but not extensively. I'd like to. Fukuoka I do, ne? We've been to Fukuoka. That's all we've been to. That's actually Hokkaido and Kyushu are the two parts of Japan that I haven't really extensively been to yet. The parts that I really want to come to. Thank you, Eloise. I was like, Eloise, you're an Aussie living in Kyushu. I understand. Someone asked, am I from Sydney before? No, I'm from Adelaide, which I love. What country will you start your tour? Don't know yet. Thank you. Yeah, real good question, but we don't know yet. <laughs> Let's just see that. Oh, wait, maybe we do. Oh, wait, no, we do. Oh, we do. Then we'll this day. We have the plan, but we can't tell you yet. I'm sorry. A lot of this one I'm not allowed to tell you yet. I apologize. I apologize. But it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Okay. 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 Let's get back to our comments, our chat box. Oh, I see. Lance understands Nelbo's Japanese. Excellent. Good stuff. That's wonderful. Um, uh, we should come to Richmond. I would love to come there. People are awesome. I'm sure they are. That sounds fantastic. I've uh, had that. Hello, Joe. So excited. That's delicious. Yeah, we're good. We have a job. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's technology very challenging. Okay. Awesome. Oh, Jan, Jan san ga. Hey, Jan. Hey. E gifu da ne. Sugoi. Ah, ba 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 ba. The stage adrenaline kick is always amazing. That's very true. Uh, who'd listen while playing Borderlands? <laughs> Do I play? Ah, that's a good question. Do I play lots of games? Oh, I'm actually trying to play more. Um, and one of like, I until now, I haven't been able to play that many because I've had to study so much. Like, I've always had language studying to do. So I've had to get home and be like, I would love to play games, but I have to study instead. So, but I'm trying to get back in again now. So I got two games while I was home, which I'm pumped about. So I'm gonna I'm gonna smash them out this year. I'm very excited, but I love playing games. It's a good time. Oh, uh, uh, this is moving around. Please wait one moment while we organize ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, sitting down is awful, awful for health. Sorry, Laura. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, look, okay. Yeah, that's This is an excellent question to transition into the next thing let's talk about. Uh, question from, uh, I sorry, I don't know how to say your name. I'm sorry, Marianne, I apologize. Um, can we tell you why I left Lady Baby? <sighs> we finally yes we can this is the million dollar question mm. which we've been asked about every day for the past six months so okay yeah so uh let us explain here's what happened with lady baby guys so no one at the start of lady baby no one ever expected it to be as successful and as popular as it was right hence the way the contract was structured at the start was it was a one year long contract and the group was originally designed to be a PR unit for this Halloween costume manufacturer called Clearstone, right? So um, PR units are kind of a common thing in Japan. We don't really, well, we have them in the West. We don't really talk about them. It's basically the group is designed to um, be public relations for this costume manufacturer, right? That's basically what it's for. So the contract was structured. It was a year long contract, okay? So what happened was 2015 and all the stuff we did then was the contract. So we got to the end of the contract and it ended in February, it ended in February last year. Okay. So leading up to the end of the contract, obviously it had gone very, very well. It was very, very popular. We wanted to continue to be part of lady baby. So we you know, organize, we sit down and we talk about, okay, next contract. What's the agreement going to be? What's the deal going to be? We thought we came to an agreement. So we're like, cool. So we thought things were going ahead, right? February comes, contract ends. We did a separate contract for the one man show we did in April. And then it's okay. So now we've got to get down to signing the contract and continuing the work. Um, here's what happened. So Lady Baby been very, very successful, right? And what happened was um, more and more parties started to get involved. So 
basically a bunch more companies ended up entering things and investing money, basically. Um, so what this meant was suddenly a negotiation which had been between us and one other party suddenly became a negotiation between us and basically a committee. So there was like five other parties or something on the other side, right? There's like, there's a ton of other parties on the other side all collectively being mm -hmm. them. Then there's us. Then there's the girls' respective management companies, right? Mm -hmm. So that's a lot of parties who need to agree on the same stuff. Mm -hmm. We thought we had a deal in place to go forward. Uh, and so we kind of said, okay, here's the deal. Let's get the contract. Let's get the sign the contract and everything. Get the contract, show it to the lawyers, comes back, everything, da 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 do that. And then when we think we're about to sign the contract, they come back with, oh, hey, we need to change the deal a little bit. And they give us this new contract. And it's, well, this is, these are not the terms we agreed to, but we wanted to continue to be part of Lady Baby. So like, okay, cool. So we try to compromise and we try to come to an agreement. Um, we send that back again, the lawyers, everything, send that deal back, ready to sign it. Deal comes back and it's different again. And we're like, these are not the terms we agreed to. This process goes on for a long time. We spent a long time trying to negotiate this deal, guys, like more than half a year, a long time going back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. Um, so during this and, and during this process, the deals were getting, so there are more and more parties on the other side, right? And the situations like the water's getting muddier and muddier because more and more people need to agree on terms. So the deal was getting, um, yeah, things were getting more and more complicated. I'll leave, leave, leave it like that. Um, a situation came up in which, well, so I needed to renew my visa for Japan. Right? I'm a foreigner. Most of you guys are foreigners. If you come and live and work in Japan, you get to need a visa. Um, so we need to renew my visa for Japan. And we said, can we please get on with signing this contract? Because I need to get my visa for Japan. Um, and we couldn't get the deal together in time. And we couldn't come to an agreement before my visa renewal was due, right? So we were forced to go and organize other work to support my visa. But then again, the contract still, and we, we asked the lady baby who we are, sorry, can we do this other work? Because this contract's not ready. I need to get a visa. Obviously, like, obviously if I leave Japan, we can't do lady baby. Right? So you know, we have to get this other work to get this visa. They say, yep, cool. Negotiating contract, negotiating contract. This continues. We start the other work we're talking about. I get my visa. We start the other work. Then in the new draft that comes back at some point down the road, there's a clause saying you can't do any other work. And we say, well, we had to do other work because I had to get a visa. We spoke about this, but then no, can't do any other work. Okay. Um, this was where things got really difficult because obviously if I can't get a visa, I can't stay in Japan and I can't legally work here. I can't stay in Japan and legally work here. How the hell am I supposed to do lady baby? But then how am I supposed to do lady baby if they won't help me get a visa when they don't want me to do any other work? You know, so it got really complicated and it got like, well, we had no choice. They're saying, well, you can't do that. You have to stop all that if you want to do this. So like with every one of these steps of contract negotiation, now and I got more and more like, well, what's going on? And it, it got complicated. And in the end, it got like, oh my God, I don't think it's going to work. Just because the water got so muddy, the deal got so complicated. There were so many parties involved. And eventually we went, it's, we had this visa problem and it just, it, it just didn't work out. Basically, agreeable terms could not be met. That's what ended up being. Yeah. So now, uh, yeah, can we leave it at that? Could you? So, uh, anyone have a reaction to that? Do they want us to talk about or anything? We've um wanted to talk about that for a long time, but it's, you know, it's so, well, I didn't really want to talk about it. I kind of wanted to move on, to be honest, because it happened and it was sort of, oh God, all right, well, that's happened. Let's just move on and look to the future. Um, but, you know, especially now that we're doing this Kickstarter, a lot of people asked, well, if you wanted to bring Kawaii Core to the world and you wanted to achieve these goals, why don't you stay with Lady Baby? Because that was going so well and you had this company behind you and everything. Um, so it's kind of at the point now when we you know, kind of needed to 
tell you guys what was going on with that. Um, so basically, agreeable terms could not be met, and that's what happened with Lady Baby. It was, you know, a real shame, a real shame, a crying shame. Uh, but yeah, yeah, the things that we needed to happen in the contract couldn't get done. It's things that they needed to happen in the contract, I guess, couldn't get done. It's, you know, I, I don't want to... Yeah, I don't want to say it's like I don't think it's anybody's fault. Mm. It's just it's what it is. You know, it was a, mm. a contractual dispute that couldn't be resolved. Um, the other thing we didn't want to talk about it till now as well because we knew that the girls were going on and doing it without me. So we didn't want to seem like we were interfering with them in any way. Didn't want to seem like we were, you know, trash talking anybody. I'm not, by the way. I'm not trying to trash talk anybody, but I didn't want to be perceived doing that. Um, yeah. So. So I'm sorry about that to everybody who uh, loved Lady Baby. We wish that we could have continued to be part of that project, but, mm. but it did not work out. Let's just read everybody's reaction to that. Thank you for the explanation. You are welcome. I'm sorry it took so long to give it to you. Um, glad you know. Thank you very much, Joan. Makes sense. Yeah, well, rough and a visa. Exactly. Visa. It's, a, it's, a, mm. it's the worst. Uh, yeah, well, lots of, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, no, that sucks, but yep, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so that's exactly what happened, guys. And now we have uh, no choice but to look to the future mm. and move on. So, oh, here's the other thing as well. So, with that, with that deal falling through, all the resources that we had been working towards, where we had been building, everything we've been building for the past year and a half, then fell away, right? So, our resources were then gone. And we basically had to start again from zero. So, that's why we have to do this Kickstarter campaign because we lost all everything that we've been working towards, right? Uh, yeah, which brings us to the Kickstarter campaign. So, thank you all you guys who supported the Kickstarter campaign. We're going to come. We're going to do the World Highway Core Tour. It's going to be amazing. Um, and we're really excited about the new work that we're going to bring to you guys. We got, um, like, uh, again, I don't want to ruin the surprise because it's going to be crazy, but 2017 is going to be sick. It's going to be so <laughs> mental. I'm so excited. It's going to be fantastic. We've, you know, already started the work as much as we can. Um, it's going to be wicked, guys. It's going to be mental. Uh, so thank you very much to those of you who thus far have contributed to the campaign. Thank you very much. We deeply appreciate it. So we're going to talk now about your rewards and what you're going to get because we have a few things we need to discuss with those of you who've contributed. So first up, T-shirt design. Hi. Those of you who have contributed, although you're going to get a T-shirt as part of your reward, thank you so much. We need to talk about your design. So basically we have four options Four uh, well, uh, uh, styles, uh, concepts, concepts, uh, concepts. Four, four options for concepts. We want to run past you guys. We want you guys to tell us what you think of them and which one you would like to get as your reward. Uh, for the rewards, we can only end up going with one concept, but very soon we're going to be starting a brand new online t-shirt store. <sighs> so we'll make a ton of designs, pretty much all the concepts are then going to eventually be available on that store. So awesomeness in t-shirt form to come let me just read these before we let me just read these so read. Cool. yeah we got a lot of comments so okay so i guess I'll we're still on the uh, 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 q a oh i see ah uh, uh, uh. am i planning any more collaborations with shiori tomita not yet but i would love to she was fantastic to work with i love shiori she's wonderful uh and you're getting 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 oh look let's let's uh, so after this it's almost your name we'll come back to your questions later guys we'll get through the t-shirts because that's the business gotta do the business the business get through the business then we'll come back to your questions these are excellent questions by the way they've just come in there's a oh, there's a ton of them okay oh, osprey you like osprey oh well we'll get, we'll get to the questions later i'm sorry okay t-shirts cool so four yeah. concepts so um general yeah, themes i suppose number one badass awesome heavy metal style number two kind of uh really it's you are Badass heavy metal style. Malcolm's writing badass. It's the first time I've ever seen her write <laughs> badass before. Excellent. Heavy metal. Excellent. Hi. Number two. Hi. Number two is sort of uh, a. Sorry. Amicomi. Amicomi. Oh, okay. Oh. Number two is um like um American comic style. So uh, not Japanese manga. Captain America, Iron Man, Marvel Comics, that kind of style of illustration. Number three is Western cartoon. Oh, oh, oh. Not, oh, we'll show you in a bit. <laughs> we describe it as pop, Western pop. Uh, we'll show you what we're talking about in a second. Uh, e, 
R N and number four is Japanese manga style, which you should be very well familiar with. Excellent. So let's show you some examples of these themes. Ah! We dropped a pen. Themes that we have made thus far. Okay, so ah, good job. Thank you, Naoko. で、コメント。あ、あ、あ。ここにコメントができないから、あ、ここで直接書く、ま、すぐ書くができないから。はい。ひとみちゃん書けるこ、この内容を。あ、大丈夫。とりあえず紹介しよう。あ、わかりません。
I think this will be the easiest way. I'm not good with technology, guys. I apologize. This is like watching a three-year-old learn to drive. Oh, okay, cool. So the votes are already being established. Excellent. Okay, good job, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Good work. Yay! That was excellent. I'll just, um, I'll talk some, while you guys get your votes in, because I imagine that'll take a, a few minutes, I'll talk some rubbish. Oh, God, well, no, I won't talk some rubbish. That's silly. I'll go back to some of the hey, questions. Mexican lady <laughs> I love Mexican lady beer. When we were in Mexico, we, oh, that was, oh, I see. That was the end of a question. I thought it was just, I thought the comment was, Mexican lady beer. Um, <laughs> question from Jim. Any chance of, oh, upcoming collaborations with, Oh, ATF or something with Mexican lady beard. That's an excellent oh, question. Sure. When we were in Mexico a few weeks ago, we uh, Mexican lady beard was our tour guide for our day off. We love Mexican lady beard. Mexican lady beard's fantastic. He's our new favorite person, and uh, he is helping us out a lot with all our activities in Latin America. So thank you, Mexican lady beard. ATF, by the way, we had a question about them in our last broadcast, which I didn't answer because there were too many questions. The girls in ATF in China are fantastic. I will work with them any day of the week. All of them are absolutely wonderful. They were incredibly professional, uh, very, very polite to me and absolutely lovely. I would take a bullet for any one of them. They are fantastic girls. I would love to work with them again. Thank you very much, Dan. That was an excellent question. All right, let's get to a bit of scrolling. This is one of the few things I know how to do on a computer. Use two fingers to scroll up. I use these two. They're my scrolling fingers. Because I can, I can use these two. Firstly, it's the heavy metal side. But secondly, I can balance myself next to the um next to the swipe pad the the button smagger the thing the pad mouse mm. that was english so when i got back to australia to, oh, yeah, nanny. Uh, 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 voting has begun oh wow badass heavy metal has a lot of votes anyway. oh, okay. currently okay so voting currently stands as such badass heavy metal option number one has 28 votes Good job, badass heavy metal. Excellent. All right. American comic style has three votes. All right. Not, not as strong, not as strong, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, pop Western style has eight votes. Yeah, it was kawaii though. They got so yeah, yeah. And Japanese manga has 17 votes. All right. So currently, oh, badass heavy metal just went up to 32. All right. Currently, badass is in the lead. Everybody get your votes in so that we can make a clear decision. And whilst that happens, I'll tell you this funny story. Um, so I went back to Australia two weeks ago. And so, okay, so one of the funny things that happens, Eloise can probably relate to this. One of the funny things that happens when you're a Westerner living in Asia is um, you kind of deliberately have to end up breaking your English because a lot of the time, even if I speak Japanese or speak Chinese or whatever, there's a lot of situations in which I need to speak English or people want to speak to me in English, but they're not fluent in the same way that, you know, the native speakers are. So you end up deliberately breaking your English so that you can be understood. And there's times when your own language skill just won't do it. So you need to speak English, but, but you need to break it. Right. So for instance, you say things like, um, uh, instead of saying, so if you would like to vote for t-shirt number one, please press one on the vote. You would say, so you like one, you press one things like this happen. Right. So I got back to Australia two weeks ago. And I couldn't talk to my family in normal English anymore because I was just breaking everything. They're saying to me these normal English. My family, we kind of we grew up being taught that you had to speak like proper English, like proper Queen's English, right? So we were if we made a grammatical error, just the fire of the gods came down on us as kids. So I got back to the family and they're all talking their perfect professional Queen's English. And I'm like, you get the make chicken do the do the cut, stab chicken, cut. Stabber. <laughs> so for two days, my family's going, what the hell are you talking about? Remember, I used to come back from Hong Kong. In Hong Kong, you say la at the end of all your sentences. You say no la, or, okay la. And I was doing that in all my English sentences. I'm like, I'm not sure la. I think we're going back next week, but I'm not really sure la. And my family starts saying, what the hell are you saying? What are you saying? Lab? La? Lark? What? What are you saying? It was hilarious at the time. Okay. 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 So voting is close to finishing. Let's check out that. Oh, you know, now I'm making a lot of signs very quickly. I've been paying attention to my stories instead of the signs. Okay, let's check out the voting system here. This is this is carnage over here. This is madness. There's so much action happening on this side of the of the computer. Okay, okay so are these Saigon or Ah, more what? Okay, voting for T-shirts is gonna finish in five. If you haven't got your vote in, put it in now. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, buddy. All right, final count. Badass heavy metal is. 34 votes. Yay. Yay. Good job, badass. Heavy metal. American comic style got three. Okay, that didn't move from its original position. 
Pop Western got 11. Kawaii da ne, Pop Western. And Japanese Mango got 20 votes. Okay, so most popular badass heavy metal, followed by Japanese Mango, followed by Pop Western, then American comic style. Excellent. Well, I think that is the official decider by a clear margin, by a clear almost, well, more than 50% margin. We have badass heavy metal, I think, is the winner. Yay. Congratulations, badass heavy metal. <laughs> if you did not vote for badass heavy metal, oh, thank you all for voting in the first place. If you did not vote for badass heavy metal, don't forget, like I say, all the options of t-shirts will be available very soon online anyway. So I thank you all for your support. We love you all very much. Ah, you're the best. All right, now, second order of business. Second order of business. We need to agree on... Oh, Brad just became a backer, number 241. Thank you very much, oh. Brad Brad Hething, Hetherington. Brad Hetherington, thank you for seeing my English. You're not good anymore. Thank you, Brad. I really appreciate it. You're fantastic. Thank you, sir. You're wonderful. Um, okay, so number two thing we need to vote on. More voting today. It's a very democratic day, isn't it? This is democracy, people. This is democracy in motion. Look at this. No corruption at Ladyview Camp. This is this is 100% down the line. This is the people have spoken. You have the power. Make your voice heard. Okay, so the second thing we need to vote on is the design of our USB wristband design. So, Hitomi Matsumoto. Oh, uh, Hitomi Matsumoto, question answer. Hi. So, okay, so obviously also you will know if you have pledged, if you have backed, you are going to get a USB with the new music videos on it. Yay! Yay. Um, it's coming in a thing that I personally have never seen before. It's a USB wristband. So, hang on, so the USB goes around, no, God, the USB goes around the wristband, it clips in like that. Okay, so it's a silicone band that goes around and then the USB... Like there's a male and a female part and they clip in around your wrist, which I have never seen before, to be completely honest. Michael Springer just became back in the 242. Thank you very much, Michael Springer. You are fantastic. Thank you, my friend. You're the best. Thank you. Um, goes around your wrist. I've never actually seen one of them before. Frankly, I think it's very cool. So we have to get the design for this wristband thing. You're going to be wearing it around your wrist all day long because, of course, you're going to be at the office. Um you're going to have to do a presentation um, to the uh, to the team leader of um, the Chilean um, the Chilean market share holder, and of course, you're going to have to do your presentation on PowerPoint using Microsoft Excel or a similar uh, style of program. And you're going to have to have all that information loaded into your USB <laughs> along with the necessary photos and your own personal photos from Christmas or thank. Thanksgiving or another family event in which you spent time with your loved ones. That's all going to go around your wrist. You have to plug into the computer. Boom. Um, presentation in front of you. PowerPoint presentation. So let's talk about the design. Thank you. Let's just let's just take a second here. All right. We're back. Good stuff. All right. All right. So. Option number one for USB silicon wristband design. Number one, pink and simple. So here we have pink, by the way, uh, these pictures are not to scale. The actual silicon band is significantly smaller than this. So if you're wondering why there's no logo or anything, it's because there's very limited space. But option number one, simple design, pink, simple design. The pink is going to be pink or shocking pink to this guy. Can't call it, call it no pink. Shocking pink. Okay, so the pink is a brighter pink than this as well, which our printer was unable to create. So, number one, pink and simple. Number two, black and simple. So, same design, except this time on the black wristband. It really depends on what kind of image you want to portray in the office when you're walking around with all the information around your wrist. Do you want to be a super kawaii, pink, possibly went to a rave on the weekend, kind of trendy, funky office worker? Or do you want to be a far more serious, let's get down to business, um, possibly had a gothic youth, but that was something from a few years ago that you'd rather not talk about it anymore. Kind of black, simple design, office worker. These are your current options. Moving on, option number three will be the pink idol. Idol. The pink idol design. That's right. So again, it's pink. So um, most of the Japanese idols, a lot of the Japanese idols, when they do their wristbands, this is the style they do it in. So they do the blocky letters, they do the lines, they do the stars, okay? And option number four is the same thing, but in black. 
Again, depending on the kind of idol fan you want to be, the image you want to portray, the way you want to be perceived by others, which uh, color would you like? Or would you prefer to be the simpler, straight down the line, fan of Lady Beard, have my information around my wrist kind of fan? Your option. Again, democracy is a beautiful thing. Look at it working. It's magic right in front of us here today. All right. Laura is not into pink at all. Well, hmm, I'm sorry, pink for Laura's uh, attitude towards you. Uh, looks awful on you. I'm sorry to hear that. My goodness. Gothic youth. I'm having gothic adulthood. Excellent. <laughs> Good stuff. I had a gothic youth. It was excellent. I had a punk youth. I had a gothic youth. I loved them both. All right. Good stuff. So let's. Okay. So, voting Haji Mayor. Hey. Ah, and Gorwin Decker just became back at number 243. Thank you very much, Gorwin. Deeply appreciate you. the best. Thank you. Ah, you got the Wazoimas. Joy this year. Okay. So, voting begins. Hey. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. So, he told me. Tell me what comment or what that He told me he's put up the comments. Number one, pink symbol. Number two, black symbol. Number three, pink idol. Number four, black idol. Cast your votes now! Now, now, now! If you guys remember back in the um, early 2000s, there was a show on Japanese, oh, sorry, on Australian TV called Bonsai. If any of you saw that, it was ridiculous. And I think it was a mock Japanese game show. And they just did these ridiculous bets. Like they had these stupid games and the and they would say, place your bets now. Or you're supposed to gamble with your friends. It was, I never gambled on anything, but it was the funniest show to watch. They do things like they get a pheasant, like that chicken type thing. And the, 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 the gamble was to see how many helium balloons you had to tie to a pheasant to lift it into the air. They did another one, which was shopping cart jousting. So they had these two guys <laughs> in full suits of armor. And they stuck him in shop, shopping trolleys with jousting sticks and they like go at each other and they try to take each other out. It was hilarious. There was one, only the Australians are possibly the English are going to get this reference, but there was one where they had Harold from Neighbours. Harold! If you watch uh, Neighbours, the sitcom, you will know who Harold is. He's this old man on this Australian show called Neighbours. And Harold was wearing like, it was like Harold was wearing um, a dressing gown. And what he would do is he'd run up to strangers' doors, and he'd knock on the door and then run off. And the challenge was to see how many seconds it would take for the person in the house to open the door to Harold. It was insane. Oh, my goodness. All right, good stuff. Uh, right, voting is nearly finished. What's going on here? Just checking out these questions. Uh, what? Got it. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Voting has begun. There's a lot of action going on, Robbie. Voting has begun. Okay, so um, Pink Simple has 10 votes currently. Good job, Pink Simple. Black Simple currently at 19. 19 for Black and Simple. Pink Japanese Idol is at 7. And Black Japanese Idol is at 12. Oh, close. Ooh. Close call. Cool. My goodness. We'll give you a couple more couple more minutes here to get your votes in, to cast your votes. Nani. Oh, everyone's already cast their vote. Oh, okay, very good. Okay, good. Okay, so voting has been complete. Voting complete. Excellent. So, uh, so, so okay, so, uh, well, okay, well, final count. Um, Pink and Simple has 10 votes. Yay! Black and Simple has 20. Yay! Pink Japanese Idol has 7 votes. Yay! And Black Japanese Idol has 12 votes. Yay! Making the winner by popular demand, Black. And simple, yay! Black and simple, good job. You tore it up, black and simple. You came, you saw, you conquered. You thought you'd have to come from behind, but then you stay at the front of the whole thing. You go and Eric the Eel in wristband format. Good job, black simple. <sighs> okay, so, okay, so I guess that is voting complete, yeah? Voting complete. So that is the business taken care of, guys. Thank you very much for joining the business. Thank you very much for voting. We look forward to bringing your T-shirts and your USB wristband sticks very, very soon. It's going to be a good time. Let's take some questions. We have 16 minutes left. Let's get to some questions. All right, Genki is in overdrive today. That's fantastic. I've had two weeks to rest, you see. <laughs> two weeks and a lot of sleep. This helps a lot. Okay, so we're going to the question and answer section. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's. I'm gonna start at the top and move down. Wise, here we go. All right, how do I work wrestling around your musical projects? Uh, do you hope to get picked up by New Japan someday? Ah, uh, I would like to wrestle with New Japan, but I kind of don't know. I don't know if they're. I don't know if they're really 
are interested in me. It's kind of a different style a bit mm. from what I do. I'm actually very, very happy in DDT. I really enjoy wrestling there and everyone's very, very nice. So I really, really, really like DDT. Bless. But yeah, if New Japan calls, we're listening. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Um, how do I fit it in? Um, we have a diary and we just write on this day wrestling. And if we can't, we say not wrestling that day. Sorry. Mm. But that's an excellent question. It's actually the challenging part about it is maintaining all the skills and maintaining the condition of my body around the different types of work because they're all incredibly physically demanding, but in different ways. So that's the big challenge of that. Thank you very much. Excellent question. Okay. Um, Igor says, oh, I'm very much a fan of you. You're very kawaii. Thank you. Um, uh, your job. I wonder why you love. Well, we talked about Lady Baby before. Cool. Thank you very much, Igor. Good stuff. Um, do I have any new favorite outfits? Oh, this oh. one's. This is the first time we've worn this today. This is brand new. I quite like this. Um, I'll just hang on. So she's just about to say. I'll just stand up a bit so you can see a bit more. <laughs> this is a uh, quite nice. I'll move backwise in front of this plant. This is quite nice. I'm quite a fan of this. I think it's very, very nice. It's quite Elizabethan, isn't it? Quite Victorian, which I like very much. Um. One of the fun things about this job is I've learned a lot about styling. This, this bonnet, completes the whole thing. If I take this off, I look like a pirate. And oh, I, the things we had were a pirate, downtown Abbey, Shakespeare. <laughs> what were the others? You get the gist. It's, it's, it's good fun. But this changes it all. This becomes Lady Beard. But anything else? Hair back, pirate all the way. <laughs> Hair down, Shakespeare. <laughs> Just twin tails, but this off, downtown Abbey. <laughs> it's awesome. It's amazing how much one accessory can do. Thank you. Excellent question. Good stuff. All right. Okay, let me just read this question before I read it out loud. Uh, oh, uh, I'm being asked if I'm married or dating someone. I'm actually a five-year-old girl, so I don't really understand this romance thing very, very well. But thank you for your question anyway. Thank you. Um, okay, let's check it out. Uh, oh, dear me. Uh, 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 yeah, that's a good question that I can't really talk about now. I'm sorry. We're going to move on from that. Just going through questions, guys. I apologize for keeping you in suspense. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, this is a good question. Am I interested in coming to wrestle in the UK? Yeah, I would love to. Um, so Racket is asking, uh, would I like to come wrestle in the UK? You're talking about Osprey. Osprey's amazing, isn't he? That match with Ricochet was out of control. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, no, I'd love to come wrestle in the UK. They're very, very nice. You know what, UK promoters? You know where to send them, hey? I would love to come wrestle in the UK. I have, um, oh, I have a, a long-running feud with a British wrestler named Voodoo, who I wrestled in Hong Kong who's a despicable individual and he wrestles in Preston city wrestling, I think. So I would love to come over to the UK and exact my revenge on voodoo for the hell he put me through years ago. Unbelievable. Thank you. Excellent question. Uh, all right. We answered that one already. Oh, are you, oh, oh, uh, this is actually a question for now call from Eloise. So that's now called each one ski no makeup or Mm. Ah, I see. So we use makeup forever. Apparently, that is the one that works best for Bia Chan. Thank you very much, Eloise. Excellent question. Let's move down. Down, down, up, down. Yeah, more, more, more. More, more, more. Ah, sorry. More, more, more. Right. Moving down, down, down. Oh, this is a good question from Bethany. What was it like collaborating with Roly? Aha, uh-huh. Roly. Oh, Roly's fantastic. We love Roly. He's absolutely amazing. Yeah, we, we really want to work with him again, actually. So we're hoping that in the new songs, we can get him in to work with him again. He was wonderful. Pro, professional, man. Yeah. A pro through and through, which is what I'm talking about. Bring it on. No, Roly was fantastic. We love Roly. We'd love to work with him again. Thank you. Excellent question. All right. When do you come to Europe? Hop your more side Oh, we're coming to Spain next month. Yeah. Ah, we're coming to Madrid for a convention. convention. A convention. I can't remember its name on top of my head. Laura will know the name. Um, we're coming to Madrid next month. That's Car- in the middle of February. Mm. Uh, that's all I can tell you right now. More to come. Stay tuned. Thank you very much. Excellent question. Uh, right. All uh, right. If I could only wear one dress for the rest of my life, what would it be? That's a good question. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
ビアちゃんそういい質問だね。I think something, lo- I think something Lolita is. Lolita is good. I put on Lolita dresses and I want a deadlift. That's the first thing I do. I put on Lolita dress, I'm like, all right, I gotta, gotta find a bar or a rack.、Um, <laughs> Lolita is good. I think something Lolita is. 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 Lolita is good. I think Yamaguchi Prefecture, Yamaguchi. Yamaguchi, Yamaguchi. Yamaguchi. No, I think it's the answer to your question. <laughs> Thank you, Janice. Oh, I'm, not I'm, I'm being told off. I'm being harshly reprimanded for my use of the computer. <laughs> my goodness.、Uh, no, we have not been to Yama, Yama, Yamaguchi Prefecture. Thank you, Janice. Excellent question.、Uh, oh, he, oh, here's a good question. If you were given the chance to be in WWE, but you'd have to stop being Ladybeard, what would you do?、Um, I don't think I'd do it. I don't think I'd do it. That makes no sense to me, you know? Doesn't make any sense to my life. Ladybeard is all. That's an excellent question, though, Gabriel. Thank you very much. Thank you kindly, sir.、Um, yeah, but, 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 but. Oh, here's a question. Good one, Joan. Any chance of putting your own makeup products or a beard product line? No, go. Me? Chance a n i m a s k a There's a chance. There is a chance. I, that sounds good to me. We will see what we can organize. That's an excellent question. Thank you, Joan. Okay.、Uh, oh, uh, uh, that's a good question. What did my parents say when I started my job?、Um, I think they, well, I've been cross dressing for many, many years. Like, Nearly 20 years now.、Mm. 20 years? Oh, wait, oh 20、sorry. years now.、Oh. So, so, I've been cross dressed for a long, long time. The first time, so, okay, so the first time I ever cross dressed, they thought it was hilarious.、Um, when I became a professional cross dresser, and that became the thrust of my life, I think they still found it hilarious.、Um, and actually, I'm incredibly lucky in that I've got wonderfully supported parents. I'm incredibly lucky like that.、Um, whatever I decided I wanted to do, my parents were going to support me. When I was very young, I said to my mom, Is there something you want me to do with life? And she said, Anything that makes you happy. And I said, Well, so if I decided like I wanted to like clean toilets or if I wanted to like you know, convert to、um, like druidism and live in the forest, you'd be okay with that? She's like, Yep, whatever makes you happy, do it. I'm like, Wow, cool. So I'm very lucky in that respect to have wonderful parents who are completely supportive of everything I do. God bless them. Thank you. That's an excellent question. Aha ha! Jermaine! This,、uh, this is my friend from Australia. Jermaine asks Did I ever see a lady be a comic or did I dream it? It was real, my friend. It was very much real. It was available on our website. I think it's sold out and we haven't done any reprints, I'm afraid. But yes, there was a lady be a comic. I was very, very happy with it. it. The art was done by an awesome artist here named Adam Three, who's a Canadian guy who lives in Japan. Awesome art. I loved it. Thank you, Jermaine. This next one. Good to see you, bro, by the way. I didn't see you when I was in Adelaide. Sorry, bro. Good to see you. I hope you're good. All right. Caesar. All right. Caesar Greenhouse. Ah,、uh, aha.、Uh-huh. Would there be a problem with my current league to fight in a Mexican league as a guest?、Uh, no, I'm pretty sure if I wanted to come wrestle in Mexico that we could probably get that done. If we had an offer from Mexico,、um, I would love to come wrestle with either AAA or CMLL or any of the other awesome feds in Mexico. I must admit, I don't. They're the big ones, AAA and CMLL. Are there other, are there other ones that we should know about? If there are, please tell us. Please tell us, my friend. I would love to come wrestle in Mexico. I'm going to have to get my cardio up to deal with that,、um, <laughs> so、to deal with that yeah, altitude problem. My goodness. Oh, can I tell this story? On altitude, uh, altitude, uh, sorry. So, the first time we went to Mexico City, like I said, we were there a few weeks ago. First time we went to Mexico City. All right. Mexico City, it's like a really high altitude, right? It's like 2,000 meters above sea level. No one explained this to me before we went. All right. So, we、mm. arrive in Mexico City and I get on stage to do my sound check. And I got a singer. There's no noise coming out. My.、Uh, I'm like, what's wrong? Did I hurt my voice on the plane? Caitlin Embry just became back at 2 45. Thank you, Em. Caitlin, oh, you're very sweet. Thank you. So they're going, what's wrong? Did I, like, did I, was it the air conditioner on the plane? Have I hurt my throat? What's wrong? So we kind of 
we go back to the hotel and we spend the whole like night and day sleeping and resting. And I've got to do the show the next day. And I'm like, Oh my God, I'm so worried. I'm freaking out. And then now and I are both in the hotel. We're both like, Oh my God, I feel terrible. Both of us were getting really sick. We're like, what the hell's wrong? We didn't know what was happening. Managed to get on stage, do the show. Well, we get, you know, we go to the convention and the organizers tell us, Oh yeah, it's probably the altitude. A lot of foreign artists come in and the altitude messes them up. And we're like, Oh, altitude. We didn't even know. Right. So we're like, well, no oxygen, no oxygen in the air. Yet I've got to do this show. I've got to spend 50 minutes jumping around and screaming. Well, <laughs> gone body mass. It's a good thing I do cardio anyway. So go on stage, somehow got through it. It was a big challenge. I'm going to tell you, I had to dig deep to get it done. Get it done right. All good. But we learned a valuable lesson. When you go to Mexico City, make sure your cardio is ace so you can handle the attitude. So a few weeks ago, when we go back to Mexico City, had my cardio on prime position, was all ready for it, was selective with which songs I did in the order, so I made sure I could handle it, get on stage, do the show, smash the show, no problem. It was um, after my last song, I come backstage before my encore, right? And I come and I run off the back of the stage, and as always do I lie down <laughs> on my back. And now Encore had like this can of oxygen, and she comes up with this can of oxygen, and she goes, she goes, Breathe the oxygen, mm -hmm. breathe the oxygen. And I'm like, no, it's okay, I don't need no cool. Just, just let me lie here for a second. No, 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 breathe the oxygen. Mm -hmm. I'm like, let's, let's just, just leave me alone. Just let me just catch my breath, it's fine. And Alka goes, you're turning blue. Sure. You are turning blue, breathe the oxygen now. My face had gone blue, apparently. <laughs> like, oh, oh, oh. I think she hit me. She's like, you're going blue, <laughs> breathe the oxygen. She sticks his mask in my face. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. The medics came, we're getting guys checking my pulse and all this. That was crazy. My goodness, good fun. That's what happens when Lady B misbehaves. Now God hits me and forces oxygen <laughs> down my throat. My God, poor Bia Chan. Poor Bia Chan. All right, we have four minutes remaining, guys. Let's see what we can get through here. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, are we USA plans. Yes, but I can't tell you about them yet. Sorry. Uh, check my legs. I mean, okay. All right. Uh, oh, I see. Hang on. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, okay. Yep. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Um, do you have conventions appearance coming to the USA? Yes, but I'm not allowed to talk about them yet. Thank you, Ashley. What a good girl. Thank you very much. Um, uh, good question. How long does it take me to learn Japanese? It's an ending, man. It's an ending. It was a, uh, two years to get to the point where I could just be like, yeah, but dabba, dabba, dabba. Um, yeah, about two years to get the stage I'm at now. But I did it a silly way in that I didn't study. I just got surrounded by Japanese people and tried to figure it out. If you're trying to learn, I recommend you study because it is a far more efficient way to learn. So mm -hmm. thank you, Vivi. Excellent question. All right. Yeah, I can't scroll. Why can't I scroll? Because oh, we're at the bottom. Oh, now I'm moving the thing. Oh, God. This is insane. Uh, 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 oh, God. Oh, God. I, oh, this technology is freaking me out. Um, oh, this is a good question. What do I know? Do not burn out. It seems I'm working all day. I am working all day, every freaking day. I chill out. I chill out. That's what I do. We get, but I said an alcohol and alcohol says, Hey, like I'll have a day off plan. Just say, you got to come to the office to do this and this and this. I say, I'm not coming into the office. I'm spending the day lying down and I just lie down all day. I don't get up unless I absolutely have to. <laughs> Thank you. Weasel. That's an excellent question. That's actually very vital to my, um, to my career. Um, uh yeah ah good question good question oh, we are nearly out of time but this is one we cannot ignore jan asks read you of a previous question can everybody please head bang for five seconds ready go five four three two one good job excellent head banging my bonnet has rearranged itself and that yeah good job that was excellent okay, 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 okay. Oh, one more time one more time i said i was getting ready i'll do i'll do circle work so now i've got head bangs there that's right Okay. Hey, okay. everybody ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, five, four, three, two, one. Yes. yes. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Good job, Jan. Thanks for question. Ah, you're so good. Ah, ah. Uh, uh, yes, good job, Jan. Good. And I think, pardon me, I think that brings us to end of our time today guys i'm sorry let me just go back to chat make sure nothing we missed is in chat as you oh boy i hope it was oh, lots of chat thank you guys i hope it was great i gotta feel 
Are we in the questions section? Are we missed a lot of the chat section? We've got to go, guys. We're out of time. I'm really, really sorry. Yeah. We'll try and do another one of these. So we'll get address more questions in the future. I just, ah. Thank you all for tuning in today, guys. It's lovely to talk to you all. Thank you for voting. We hope that the rewards we can bring you in the Kickstarter campaign are going to be to your liking. We're very, very excited about them. Um, we are, and, and, and guys, we are so excited about 2017. 2016 was a bit of a stressful one, to be completely frank. Very happy it's behind us, but it was a big year of preparation for the onslaught that is going to be 2017. We are going to tear 2017 apart, guys. Thank you all so much for your support. We are going to continue working as hard as we can to make you smile, make you laugh, feel kawaii and genki. It's going to be a good, good time. So, go up. Next show, yeah, you must. I know, この weekend, don't you? Hi. この weekend, don't you? Yeah, you're okay. Oh, weekend, don't you? この土曜の土曜の土曜の土曜の土曜の土曜の土曜の土曜の土曜の土曜の土曜の土曜の土曜の土曜の土曜の土曜の土曜の土曜の土曜の土曜の土曜の土曜の土曜の土曜の土曜